back to Nebula Club. For today's video, I'll be talking about Saturn in the 12th house and what it means to have Saturn in the 12th house in astrology. So, what is Saturn? Saturn represents the boundaries, the limitations, and the restrictions you place upon something to structure it. And it can also represent time. It represents the concrete reality, including the harshness of it all, like everything about reality. It represents the physical, the, the tangible, and it also represents um, just something that you place to divide something or to create an organization or to, to organize. You know, when you organize something, you compartmentalize it, you divide it, you structure it in somehow. And, um, that is Saturnian in nature. Um, another thing that Saturn represents is lineage. It represents the heritage of a family, but also in a tangible sense. The people that it represents, you know, or the resources that that family name has, or just the history of the people but that can also be attributed to in the physical and material form, such as heirlooms or, you know, just precious jewels or things, items that the family keeps, that brings it value. Um, Saturn in the 12th house, the 12th house deals with the collective unconscious and the collective subconscious. It deals with the unseen and mystic side of life that ties everything together. Uh, because it's the 12th house and it's right before the cycle starts all over again, the 12th house is where all the things that you do, all the rituals that you have, all the routines that you have culminate up to a certain point. And it's like that singular overall spiritual side to your life. People with displacement have had to grow up mentally pretty fast. In some aspects, you've had to experience some of the toughest situations completely alone with you and nothing more than your spirituality. And as a result, you've gained a perspective at an intimate level of the concrete reality of things. So now you're able to maneuver and get from point A to point B, encompassing both the spiritual and metaphysical nature of things in addition to the concrete physical reality. And another thing with Saturn in the 12th house is that these people know because they've been there. They've had to go through experiences that really humbled who they were as a person. This also gives them a strong understanding at an intuitive level as to what people need in order to overcome certain obstacles, especially the ones that aren't new under the sun and that people, you know, normally face and stuff. Saturn being in the 12th house of the collective and conscious, you're keenly aware of what keeps relationships and people together in a core sense. You understand what structures social society because you also understand the practical methods in keeping and maintaining strong relationships. As a result, the work that you put out into this world has to come from a source of authenticity and integrity. You can't really, you won't really feel fulfilled doing a job that isn't in agreement with your integrity. You know, it, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, it's just does it fit you? Is this this define you accurately even if it's just something you do temporarily if you're not doing something that's in your integrity then you won't feel spiritually fulfilled you're going to feel like the energy that you put out is being wasted because it's going to a source that doesn't really vibe with you it doesn't really connect with you and this can add to the depressing weight of reality that this is why it's very important to keep again the uh, the Trinity, you know, the mind, body, spirit connection, solid for the most part. This placement is intense because you can truly feel someone's pain 
by relating it to your own experiences and understanding that no matter how harsh certain situations can be, it's just the reality of things. You know, you understand, you really understand the phrase that nothing is new under the sun. And this can also give you a drive to really structure any kind of chaos. You really are the kind of person that wants to help the less fortunate. You want to help um, structure chaos in the world. Because Saturn in the 12th house gives you the ability to structure the chaos. Because when you think about it, Saturn also co-rules Aquarius, which is almost like pure chaos energy. So it, it's one of the few planetary influences that kind of has a grip on the chaotic nature of things. Because when you think about the nature of the quote-unquote beast of society, you realize that it's not something that can be controlled. You know, society goes in the direction that it will go, but there are parameters and structures and boundaries in which we maneuver throughout society. And that's how we kind of end up where we are today. And that's kind of the contextualization of, you know, Saturn being able to structure things within the 12th house related things. Um, going deeper into the whole, you know, Saturn structure and chaos unconsciousness, people with Saturn in 12th house, they can structure things that seem like it has no other way to go. It's almost as if um, Saturn in this placement takes a lot of influence from Aquarius to apply to the Capricorn method of doing things. Because the tw if the 12th house is, you know, the stuff that is connected to source, things that are from the quote-unquote heavens and you can't exactly connect to it just like that, you have to be able to make intuitive connections about the experiences and the pattern that you already know to be true, to be real, um, no matter the probability of them happening again. Because again, um, nothing is new under the sun, so everything that we are experiencing, no matter how strange or how different has in some way, shape, or form already kind of been done. We're just innovating, right? Because as, as an artist, when you do art, you realize that you, you take what you've made from something else, right? It's like the whole concept of science where energy is transferred. A way to keep this placement balanced is to incorporate a lot of sixth house things. You want to balance your sixth house of daily routines and just the things that you do every day, your health, your physical upkeep, just the background processes of life, you know, the things that you have to do every day regardless in order to just keep the whole system functioning. You have your first house, second house, third house, fourth house, fifth house where you, you have all these things but now they have to be organized somehow before you can move on to dealing with other people, which is the seventh house onward. So. In order to keep this balance, have daily things that you do that work towards an overall belief system that you have for yourself. So, for example, in your lifestyle, have something that you do that is routine or a ritual, something that you do for your own subconscious well-being and have that tie into your overall theme in life. Or another thing you could do is to have a certain book you read on a certain aspect of life that you're really interested in. But it goes deeper than that. This is just sixth house things. Like you, you want to keep a routine throughout your day because the thing with the sixth house and the thing with Saturn and the twelfth house is you want the work that you do to fulfill you in some way that sustains you financially, of course, but it also brings you something that money cannot buy. So in order for you to get something that money can't buy, 
it really has to be authentic it has to come from you you have to give it in a selfless manner meaning you love to do what you do. You love what you're giving to other people. Essentially, you want to acknowledge your spirituality. You want to acknowledge the things that you do for society. Even if nobody around you acknowledges it, you you need to because chances are if you're watching this video, it means you care to some extent. It means you're you're already in the mindset where you want to reach out to people and really fulfill them. It's just a psychological thing. You want to document the work that you do. Whether you have an Instagram page and you um, keep you know, images or commentary of people and you kind of just look back sometimes to kind of just see the, the progress of the work that you've done, for example. Um, but you want to document the work that you do and hold it like a relic, like a, a part of your lineage because essentially that's what it is. With Saturn, you're building your lineage. You're building what makes your bloodline the bloodline that it is. What makes your name the name that it is. You know, the people that you come from, society that you come from. You add to that whether you th you think you do or not. Make sure you take care of yourself on day-to-day -day things. If things start to feel too heavy, too depressing, or too overwhelming, go back to the roots of things. That's when you need to remember that, okay, I need to take care of myself. I'm out there, you know, trying to help other people, trying to take care of other people. Even if you didn't really do anything, but if you, you know, did research or you actively, you know, um, started building something that you've been working on, it doesn't really matter. The point is, when you put energy out, you need to have downtime to recuperate, to kind of reorganize, restructure, to just incubate you the 12th house i like to call it in a sense like an incubator because it gives you the understanding of the processes of things around you but you also need to make time to organize all those processes with the heavy nature of displacement it's very easy to get negative thoughts it's very easy to you know um be kind of in a position where you succumb to the depressing side to life, to succumb to the just the cold, harsh reality that exists no matter how optimistic you can be. Um, because displacement makes you aware of that. It, it make, You can be happy, but you're very realistic about the fact that it's not all sunshine and roses. And it's very easy to bring just negative thoughts overall to yourself by act, by feeling as if you deserve to carry the weight of what it is that you're feeling. The thing with this placement is you don't want to fall prey to other people's emotions, other people's experiences and making them your own because again you understand the human experience at a concrete level so it can be easy for you to take on the weight of other people's experiences or life so be careful not to do that remember that your life is yours and the things you take on are the things you take on and if people try to you know give you their shit to take on you have to have boundaries in that sense you can't structure chaotic things or people or you can easily waste valuable energy in structuring things that had no business, you know, being manifested, if that makes sense. People who have displacement can sometimes get a lot of people who just doubt them, who doubt their ability to, to accomplish things. And that's not good because whenever you have to do work that brings you back something that money can't always buy, it means you have to find validation through other means that is still in a way materialistic because I mean you need concrete evidence of the stuff that you do but at the same time you know inherently that's not all that it can be it can't just be oh this trophy no it has to be like this organization of people this experience these lives that I've directly affected or you know stuff like that and something that comes to mind is Gary V, what he advocates a lot, he advocates working from an authentic source, seeing what you're good at, the reality of this is who I am, this is what I'm good at doing, this is what I'm not good at doing, how can I reconcile the two to help you? So 
that's um, an example of how to contextualize this in reality. In terms of career, Saturn in the 12th house represents being of service to others in an area that deals with tackling social issues in some way, shape, or form. And also um, simultaneously being connected to a global audience because the 12th house deals with going beyond the boundaries of um, your location. So you're doing labor, you're putting in labor towards people that are, you know, unconsciously out there. Like you don't know that they're there, but you know that they're there, right? Examples of career fields would be um, positions in the government that deal with public or other governments such as international relations and also just dealing with or working for international corporate companies that relate maybe to logistics in some way shape or form where you are helping people get what they need or even holistic businesses but this being in the 12th house and this being Saturn you create some sort of uh, like retreat for example and you are you know one of the heads of the retreat or you are one of the CEOs of the retreat but you indirectly help people nurture their own spirit in conclusion remember that everything comes from something even if that something is nothing you are who you are because of your roots your foundation the culmination point of everything that you are and everything that you have perceived up until now. So try not to fall into a state of confusion when it comes to your identity or develop ideas of a metaphorical martyrdom for society. Remember that other people's problems and society's problems are not your problems. You have your own weight of existence to carry. This placement gives you the ability and awareness to practically structure your spirituality, especially in a gradual sense. Through your experiences uh, with reality, you've gained a lot of wisdom to benefit humanity in a very practical level. And you've come, you come to the realization that when you fill your cup, you can tremendously help out others because you've helped yourself. And that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching and till next time.